Bon Beanie. Bon Beanie, dang it. We bon are. Beanie. We are in Bon Air today. I know. For the first time ever. So you have to say Bon Beanie, right? I think Papilento bon is the thing that goes across all the ABC all the ABCs. Islands. But anyway, we are up and ready to go on some adventures. We've actually got two adventures plotted for today. We don't normally do that. If our time uh, holds out, we'll see how our scheduling goes. But uh, we're getting ready to get some breakfast and go out on those adventures. Mm -hmm. I guess like yesterday, we'll go ahead and talk about our adventures now because who knows? Yeah, because we might we'll, be in a rush. That's right. Um, so first thing, we've never been here. So we always like to do sort of a, an island tour yep. just to get a lay of the land. So we have a three to three and a half hour, I guess it's a half day tour mm -hmm. with Bon Air Vista Tours, which is supposed to take us all over the islands. Like salt flats, yeah. pink sand, flamingos. All that stuff. Stuff and things like churches. And I don't know. Lots of things. I don't know. It's, it's like, yeah, there's slave huts and on old villages. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we're going to do that through Bonaire Vista Tours. And then once we get back to the pier, we're going to try to hop a water taxi. Uh, we've uh, contacted Carib Water Sports mm -hmm. to find out their schedule and all that sort of stuff. Over to Klein Bonaire because it's there's like no... There's no beach stop on the uh, the tour that we're doing. No. So now we, if we go over to Klein Bonaire, which is kind of like a protected area with like a legit reef and you do drift snorkeling and- Uninhabited pretty yeah. much, yeah, so exciting. Um, and then yeah, go do that for at least a couple of hours hopefully and then running it back on the ship real fast. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> yeah, so we we're, should be fine. we're in port for eight hours and so we're gonna see how it goes. Yeah. So, Carib Water Sports hooking us up with a water taxi, and they, they rent snorkel gear mm -hmm. and sell drinks on their thing, because there's no amenities on, um, I was about to say Buck Island. It's similar to Buck Island in my mind, yeah. uh, but over on Clan Bonaire, there's no, like, restrooms, restaurants, there's like nothing over there, right? Just, Just trash, trash cans, cans. And people. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to get this adventure started, and we're going to go have some breakfast. Yes. So, let's roll out. I'm Bon Air, here we come. We're so excited. <laughs> Welcome to Bonaire. Oh, she's waiting to get a picture taken. I've never been here. I've never been here. Oh gosh. Who is in port with us today? I think it says the Monarch Valletta. Valletta. Sure. Something like that. I don't think they were on the website that I normally use, which is cruisett.com, because maybe they kind of fly under the radar there. Let's see if we get a jump start on any snorkeling out here. Any fish action? Yeah. Alright, but I believe it said we are supposed to meet at a couple of rows of colorful tents, and I see a lot of colorful tents over there, so I think that's where we're going. Okay. What's this? Welcome to Bonaire, the first blue destination in the world. I don't know what that means, but hey, we here. So there we go, nothing really at the port, but you got information. We're following the signs that say tour operators. Cute little shopping village. We have found Bon Air Vista Tours. Yes. That was so easy. <laughs> ah, there's the booth for Caribe. We'll be back to see them later on. Oh, I see. This is that line I'm not sure how to say. I always say Pool Mentor, but it's the uh, sort of affiliated, I believe, with Royal Caribbean because that's where they're sending the grandeur after they retire her in 2021 is to that cruise line. Doing a little wandering before our tour. Got some cannons to keep us safe. Let's see if there's anything fun to see over here. Well, we can at least get our bearings. So Bonaire, and then little bitty Klein Bonaire later. We've stumbled across a cool little market over here next to the other ship where they're docked. All kinds of little stuff. You buy sea salt? I know they have the salt flats here. Oh, snow cones. If they had a Stroop waffle booth, that'd be perfect. Ah, uh, we learned about that. They have the, I guess, the official liqueur of uh, Bonaire, Terrebonne, made from cactus. Is that a, a portrait of your friend from yesterday? Yes. In much clearer water, yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> 
Whoosh. So in Mercy, they do alley too. We made it over here now to one of the main streets. I think this is called Calle Grande. Calle Grande, I'm sure I said that wrong. All kinds of shopping and stuff over here. Well, we had a good little wander. We're gonna come back over here to the meeting zone over here by our fortified wall. Time to load up on our chariot. Your tickets, your tickets, oh. your tickets. <laughs> tickets That's would be good. There we go, we got our ticket. Huh? Cute. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Billy. I'm gonna show you a part of our nice island. The flat part of the south, our hilly north light. Hope we have a lot of fun together. If you want to, I can uh, let you out at the end of the tour at a little beach if you want to. Otherwise, you just come with me back to the boat or back to the city. Round egg is over there. That area is our capital city, our main city. It uh, was built uh, by the Dutch. Have a nice trip. I'll see you guys later. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The white slave huts. It's called white slave huts because it's of the white ponds. Okay, so we've made our first stop here at the slave huts. It's raining a little bit. Oop, let me not. Oh gosh. It is rainy season. Let me protect you as we walk across. People lived in here? Yes, these were the slave huts. But I said they, I guess they said they built it as kind of a gesture of goodwill after a lot of countries had stopped slavery that they actually built homes for the slaves to live in. Not to like ruin my camera. <laughs> and this is where Dee fell in the sea. Oh, there went your feet. Yeah, it's cool to, cool to see all these like rounded kind of uh, rocks and things too. This is some pretty water. Yeah. And these doors are like three feet tall. Yeah. Hmm. This all black pretty. Yeah, I know. It's better if it's not to go to it on it. But isn't that beautiful with the different uh, colors of the border and the green of the plants? We stopped at the salt flats. You get all this oh. pinky purple salt fields, mountains of salt in the background. Do you think it cut back camera? I hope so. 
It's so funny though to see like pink salt flats and then like turquoise ocean water. There's so much color. You wanna go swimming in the salt flat? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, they've got the whatever the algae. Open your mouth. No, no, the algae and the shrimp that the flamingos eat, I guess, is what helps give the pink color over here. Salt flat spin. Had to do it. It's really pretty here so far. I like this pink. This is like, you know, when you can get specialty pink salt. Yeah, get you a pink salt selfie. <laughs> We're coming back over here to learn some stuff now. I guess all these rocks, even these rocks, she said, are coral, which will eventually, you know, dissolve down into uh, white sand. Maybe it's winter time. <laughs> Protestant church on the island and next to it it's a restaurant right now that was the first school on the island and now we are entering Kaya Grandi mm -hmm. it's our shopping area of Brown Day you find a lot of uh, little shops here there was a, uh, a undersea in the sea a volcano and created one air where well, we are driving right now it was once a time it was water level sea level here stoga is a kind of stew where they put iguana meat in as well iguana or they put uh, beef in the stew or fish it's a, a traditional meal from the island the stubas so we've come now to the thousand steps which apparently is about 68 steps we're not going to go down all the steps because of time constraints but sometimes <gasps> I'm trying to see if i see a turtle that's a snorkeler that's not a turtle sometimes you can see turtles so we're just going to hang out up here at the top of the thousand steps Super clear. That's okay. Yeah, well, if there's a turtle, Dee's gonna spot it. <laughs> you see? Oh yeah, yeah, right there. Huh? Right see? there. He's hard to spot. Yeah, yeah, it's hard yeah. to see right now. All right, you get you pictures know, of him. The, the, the area I don't think my eyeballs see him just yet. Are. And if we go snorkeling uh, here, it's so nice with the turtles. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. You should come and stay. I would day. love to. Yeah, really. We're going to come and go ABC Island hopping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beverage break. I'll probably do water. Might as well. Thank you. Sprite. Flamingos, we see our Loras. Come on, come on, come on. It was the old movie theater from uh, Rincon. They bought it in 2009, started with all the tests. Uh, 
how can we produce uh, liquor made on the island with uh, ingredients from the island. And in 2017, they already won a, a golden medal for the rum and coke yeah. in London. I've been in the back of the van. Hey, it's good to see you again. Thanks. So we're here at the Kadushi <laughs> Distillery where they make the cactus liquor. And rum and coke. And all that stuff. <laughs> Water slides. Oh, there's a little playground. I want to go play. Sandbox. Oh, wow. Just in case you're lost and you want to know how far <laughs> it is to like anywhere. Who needs Google Maps when you have that? 7,790 kilometers to Amsterdam. Here it says only 82. Oh. Uh, well, this is all guests must be approved by the cats. So, <laughs> Other cats? I'm hoping that you pass the test. It's a liquor from Bonaire. <laughs> <laughs> it's green. And they write Cheers. The, uh, names of the we'll see how it is. Not bad. Smooth. Tastes like medicine, but good medicine. Tastes like medicine. Pretty good. Oh. <laughs> She got attacked by a fly. Not bad. I see what you mean, but that's not bad. This one you just put to you, this one to the other side, and okay. you can lift it easily. Wow. Without getting to the thorn. I was gonna wonder how they did that actually. Here's your big cactus friend. She's cute. It's the best. Best rum and cola in the world. She did say. In the whole world. Right. You have to try. She said that like they beat out the big boys that right. one year. Let's do it. So in 2017, they beat out all the big boys. Yeah. I for mean, rum. Here, you have to Alright, award winning 2017 rum and coke. World. That's right. See if it tastes like two years ago. Oh, that's really good. It was, it was a good amount of rum. I, I watched him pour. <laughs> do it. D do it. Come here. Get that rum. In the morning, we would say, Bon dia. Then from uh, noon on, it's Bon Tardi, and during night time, it's Bon Nocci. And we will stop at this monument. It was built uh, by the Catholic Church here on Bon Air and a wealthy Curacao Catholic family. It's for, uh, dedicated to the millennium and that's a spot where we locals go to New Year's uh, Eve. Yeah, that's a spot where you can overlook most of the island and you see fireworks. So we've come up to this monument up here on top, and we've got all sorts of views. Oh, it's so There's funny. a view of D. We can see Kleinbun Air from here, too. we got all this view going on, and she's taking pictures of a lizard oh, with yeah, a blue a tail. tail. He does. A plow plow. That's right, plow plow. That's and it's called a blue tail lizard. But uh, Papiamento is plow plow. Mm -hmm. plow, plow. Somebody wants to go to the beach or back to town, back to the boats. Well, we have returned 
to the pier area. There's the ships and all down there, and you can see where we came from originally for the start of our tour and all of that. And just down this way, there was a Pandora store, which is where Ricky and Laura have gone. gone. <laughs> and just beyond that, you can actually see a yellow sign that says water taxi to the beach. And that is where we are supposed to meet up with Curry Carl. Bay Water Sports. It's Carl's Bar. Carl or Kara is K-A-R-E-L. She said Carl. She kind of said Carol, Carl's Beach Bar. So where that is where... Cream? Do they have... <gasps> ice cream? I'm just if they have cereal. Oh, you're distracting <laughs> me with ice cream. <laughs> so, fantastic day with Bon Air Vista oh, Tours. Amazing. And now, I want to move. I know. Like, I'm sure we'll we'll talk about it. Actually, you could just talk about it right now. Instead of going to the cabin, let's interview you right now. Okay. How was your day? Beautiful. Like seriously, one of the prettiest places I've been. So like, they take care of everything here, and it's very environmentally friendly, clean, safe, really nice local people. Um, salt flats were like amazing. That was cool. I've never seen pink water like that. Across from that is just this beautiful like seven or eight different colors of blue. Flamingos, hilltops, greenery, beautiful, beautiful. So much nature, so much cool turtles. stuff. Turtles, saw turtles. That's true, from yeah. afar. So, just everywhere you look is really, really pretty. And the shopping area is nice too. Mm hmm. Yep. So, fantastic day so far. We're getting ready to go start adventure number two. Yes. Hopefully, the rain holds off. I know. We need clear weather. <gasps> I see y'all. Are, are, you, are you trying to video bomb it? Are they, are you, what, are you, what are you guys doing? We'll see you guys later. <laughs> All right. See y'all. Go have a guy's burger for us. <laughs> All right, Mike and, yeah. Mike and Robin heading back to the ship. The two of us, Ricky and Laura, are planning to head out on the water taxi to Klein Bonaire. If we can find them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>